what's up guys uh welcome back to my youtube channel and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create a layout in uh, google earth pro so just go ahead and open your google earth pro application and, uh, give it time to load then on your left hand side uh, you see this uh, search bar just type in your area of interest So this is my area of interest. Uh, it's the place that I want to create. It's my home village, and I want to create map layout for this particular area. So let me go ahead and check everything. So uh, I'll start by actually uh, creating uh, all features like spring. Water taps, uh, home region. So, in order to create point, want to create a point, uh, point, point feature just in the menu bar, you'll see this add place mark. I want to place it uh, right. My so, this is my. And uh, uh, just give it a name. And then, in order to change uh, the appearance of this particular icon, just click on the icon. Then, I'm going to give it. Uh, just choose can choose any uh icon that uh, uh i'm just going to choose a balloon icon and uh, i'll go for this particular one you can choose any then give it okay and then you can drag it around to place it on uh, where you want it to be so after that just you can actually choose give it a color and choose a color for it but uh, i'm going to leave in mine cities then i'm going to add another uh, I'm going to add another icon for let's say uh, spring tap spring water tap where we actually uh, where we normally fetch water from I'll give it uh, just a uh, pure blue balloon and uh, let me choose another color for that give it sky blue okay pink and uh, let me So this is a point where you normally uh, fetch our water from. So our spring water tap is located somewhere here. So I forgot to 
add uh, R right there. So it's okay. And uh, let me add another icon. This one is for church and uh, so our church is right here. There's another one uh, down here low, so get, let me give it that particular point. And uh, okay, let me add another village um, drop. So this one will get the location for where you normally buy our groceries from so and for that I'll give it a, I can choose any just just going for that uh, red red one and uh, Okay, so I'm going this time. I'm going to add a jogging trail. Uh, let me give it We choose a color for that and I'll give it something like brown. Uh, give the width of that particular line width of four. I don't normally jog from this particular point. Okay, and I'll include. Let me add the starting point of our jogging, uh, the starting point of this particular jogging track, and I'll just let me choose another color let me give it a uh, brown
like that then okay and i'll add another yes another point then the end point of that particular jogging track and i'll give it same color as the track the jogging track okay Then, then I'll just need to uh, add one polygon, and I'm going to digitize this particular forest right here. So, give it a name. And I'm going to just style it, give it a fill and outline. Okay, so there's no need for fill and outline, so I'll just outline, just choose outline, then the color of the outline line I'm going to give it just green okay and i'll just go ahead and digitize this particular the boundary of this particular forest So I'm just, I'm not going to be very accurate for, just for demonstration purposes. Then, the wind, uh, just give it a round four. And, uh, color is green okay so i think i'm done with uh, digitizing the features that we need for our map so the next thing is just to add the all the elements of uh, map so I just go ahead and click on this uh, file then under a uh, save choose a uh, save image so automatically will be the map elements will be added including the total uh, the map title so you need to digitize or to edit uh, this particular details so i'll start with the this title so I'm just going to give it a title. You can 
just drag it to position it correctly like that then the legend you can just pull uh, the legend to the bottom right then you have this uh, north arrow i'm going to drag it the uh, top right corner like that and then uh, for my scale i'm going to place it uh, i'm going to leave it right there then for this particular google watermarking can you drag it around place it uh, wherever you want you want it uh, sorry about that just Is it right there? So, so I think everything is set, and uh, the only thing that is remaining is to export the map. In order to export, uh, first of all, we need to adjust the resolution. Uh, I can choose the resolution that fits uh, your requirement. I'm just going to choose this 1920 by 1080 then I just adjust that so you can do your adjustment here and there then so everything looks uh, perfect so what we need to do is to just click uh, this icon, the save image icon, and I'm going to place it on a desktop folder, and I'm going to give it a name. Then save. So... If I double click and open the image, now you have your map layout as JPEG form in JPEG format. So that's the end for this tutorial. That's how you use Google Earth Pro to create map layout. Thank you for watching. Uh, kindly remember to subscribe. Uh, give this video thumbs up. See you in the next tutorial.